Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is a 30 minute strength training session. All you need for this workout is one pair of dumbbells. I'm using a pair of 10 kilograms and I'll use the same weight throughout the session. We've got 15 exercises. We're gonna do two rounds in total and the working sets are 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. So first exercise, we're gonna actually do a body weight only move. We're gonna do a walkout with our hands into a high plank position. Then we're gonna step our foot left Step our foot right and then repeat that. So it's kind of a little warm up exercise just to open up the shoulders, the hips, get us moving a little bit. So we smoothly cut away. So dumbbells are coming up after this. Walk out into that nice big hip opener. In three, two, one, let's go. So walking the hands out into a high plank position, take the left foot out by the left hand, back to the center, right foot out by the right hand, walk those feet back. So not the feet, walk the hands back, stretch up, and repeat that. So again, it's a little warm-up exercise, a little bit of a mobility move. Get that hip open, feet back together, walk, touch toes, reach up. Let's go a couple more of those. Really get that big stretch in the hip. Open, left, open, right. Good, touch toes, reach up. Last one, walking out. Again, really, really step that foot if you can, in line with the hand or beyond it. Stretch, open and walk back into a standing position. That's our first exercise. So now we use the dumbbells. We've warmed our hips up a little bit. We're gonna do some dumbbell front squats. So one dumbbell in each hand. We're gonna rack them up in a front rack position. And we're gonna squat from there. So we're squatting in a front rack position. Let's go, so squat down. And I'm not rushing these exercises. They wanna take our time. Really think about controlling the movements. Build up the strength. More time under tension, less speed, more control. So slow on the way down, pause at the bottom for a second, drive up. Slow on the way down, pause for a second, drive up. We're keeping those heels flat on the ground, drive through the heels, back nice and straight. Excellent, big squat, low as you can, and drive up. Let's have one more good rep. Slowly down, pause, drive up. And relax, perfect. So put those weights down for a second. Obviously it's a 20 second rest, so not much time. We're actually gonna do some push-ups. We're doing the push-up rows if you can. So if you can, it's a push-up like this. Push up, and then we row, row. If that's too difficult, you can do the same things from the knees. Push up, row, row, off we go. So one push up, down, come up, row the dumbbell in towards your hip. Excellent, and repeat. So push up, row the dumbbell, row, and repeat. Ah, row those dumbbells in towards the hip, lay them flat. Big push, drive up. Excellent, keeping the abs engaged and we're not rocking those hips left to right. If it is too difficult, do the push up on the knees, and then you can row. Same thing, same thing, just a little bit less resistance. Last one. Two, and relax, brilliant, right. That's obviously really challenging, the shoulders, the chest, the abs, the upper back, it's quite a tough move. So if you are finding it difficult, you can just do a normal set, push up on the next set. Right, up on our feet now, exercise number four. We're gonna reverse lunge, and then we reverse lunge into a curl. So left leg goes back, reverse lunge, into a bicep curl, repeat. Opposite sides, so just alternate the legs, double bi bicep curl, Single lunge, double bicep curl, single reverse lunge. Good, stepping back into that movement, dropping the back knee towards the ground, feet together, and curl. Excellent, right, we've got this for another 15 seconds. So it's 15 exercises, two rounds, straight through, all the way through for 30 minutes. That's it, last exercise, last rep. Step back, up, Curl and rest. Okay, sit those down for a second, give the arms a little rest. We're gonna do some thrusters now. So one dumbbell in each hand. We do that squat and we thrust the dumbbells up. So much more full body, we get the heart rate up a little bit here. A little bit more intense. Again, don't rush though. Take your time with it. So we go down nice and low into the squat as you come up. You press the dumbbells up above the head into a shoulder press. So front squat, push up, excellent. Same again, how many can we do? 
and 40 seconds. Front squat, push up. Great, great tempo, good form. Nice straight back, push through the heels, stand up. I'm not going at 100 mile an hour today. I'm actually trying to slow it down a little bit. A bit more considered, a bit more control with every exercise. Last one. Down, up, and rest. Right, dumbbell down for a second. We're now going to do an up down plank. So, high plank position to start with. Up on our hands. We go down, down, up, up. Alternate the hands you push up with. Chest is going to work, shoulders, triceps, and abs. I just want to rock. Stay strong, stay neutral. Off we go. So, hands down, down, up. Up, good, pushing. So you alternate the hand you push up with. Down, down, up, up, excellent. Down, down, up, up. Keeping the abs engaged, we're not rocking. We try to keep your hips sort of square onto the ground. 20 seconds to go. Down, down, up, up. Tough on the shoulders, really tough after those shoulder press. 10 seconds left, big push up. Three, two, one, recover. So give those arms a little rest. We're now going to go into a sumo sort of squat, but weighted. So uh, you can have one dumbbell, either like this, close to the chest, or hold both. We're just trying to get that nice, strong weight. I might, I might hold these down here, actually. So I'm going to hold the weights here. So down and up, good. So hold them however you want. You can hold one dumbbell, you can hold two. We've just got those feet turned out a bit wide like a sumo squat and drive up. So sumo squat, drive up, good. You can obviously hold the weights up here if you want. Same exercise, just putting the weight through the body a bit differently. Give the arms a rest. 15 seconds. So slow, deep, squeeze at the top. Squat low, drive up. Five seconds, last rep. Oh, I feel that in the, in the glutes. Really felt that in the glutes. I'm gonna move this, because someone thought it was like a pair of nuts hanging out. <laughs> Hang on, it's gonna be this. Someone's posting it on Instagram. Right, next exercise, burpee deadlift. Oh, so, hands on the ground like this. We're gonna step our feet back, step our feet up, and then deadlift the weights. So step back, step forwards, don't do three weights. So it's not a jump, we're just stepping them back. Step, don't lift, and again. Step back into the high plank, step forwards, and drive through the hips. Down, down, and drive. So don't try not to arch that back, keep a nice neutral spine. So strong plank, step forwards from there, we squeeze the deadlift up and rest. Right, we're doing great. That's eight moves complete. Eight to 15. Number nine is some bicep curls. So we're just going to stand one in each hand. Slow, controlled bicep curls. Just alternate the hand that we lift up with. So we're just going to go like control it. Off we go. All right. So left side, right side. Keep an elbow tucked into the body, so don't bring it all out of this. Try and keep it tucked in. Rotate as you come up, rotate as you come down. So you've got 40 seconds on the bicep curls. Drop the weights for a second. Then we're going for some dumbbell shoulder press. So really isolate the shoulders for the next set. 15 seconds, that's it. Squeeze those biceps, curl it up. Slow it down, way down. Rotations. Almost there, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's put those dumbbells down a second. So I'm not using a super heavy weight today, but I'm trying to control it, slow things down a little bit so it does feel harder, rather than just swinging up, you know, heavy and rushing the reps. We're trying to actually do this with a lot more control today, so really build the strength. So one dumbbell in each hand. We're gonna do some standing shoulder press. So elbows out this time, flare them out, and push up. 40 seconds on this. So how many can we do with control? If you lose form and technique, just drop them, have a little rest. 
It's all about getting that posture right. So if you start to like arching back, don't do that. Just drop them. Just go as many as you can. Elbows wide, nice and wide, and press above the head. Ah, these are getting heavy now. 10 seconds. Couple more to finish then. Last rep. Ah. Then our shoulder press down. So put those down, give your arms a little shake. We're actually going to do a floor press now. So if you've got a bench, you can use a bench, but we're just going to do a floor press, which is the same sort of thing as a dumbbell bench press, but obviously if you haven't got a mat, so a bench. We're going to do these from the floor. So elbows tucked in, I'm going to press these dumbbells up. So just tuck them in. So we're not going wide, we're going to sort of narrow with this. So rather than bring your elbows out, keep them parallel, tuck the elbows in, just before they hit the ground, push up. There we go. So tuck those elbows in, hitting the chest and triceps, push up. Really drive those arms up. So bend the elbows, tuck them into the body, and then push directly up. Don't want to end it up here, in line with the chest is where you want it to be. So elbows tucked in, drive. Last few reps. Final rep. So they're much harder. Do those so narrow. It loads the triceps a little bit more rather than the wide ones. So we're now going to be up on our feet. We're going to drive basically from a lunge when we're doing a reverse lunge. And as we come up, drive the knee. So 20 seconds on the right knee, 20 on the left. Let's go. So step back, drive up. Step back, drive up. Good. We're doing 20 seconds on this right side. Then we'll switch to the opposite side. Step back. Drive forward, step back, drive up, good. Okay, we're gonna switch sides in three, two, one. So left side and left knee comes up. Reverse lunge, knee drive. That's it, trying to get that knee as high as you can. Really get that lunge, get right into it. And then drive through, so power on that left, right knee now. Right leg's working, drive and rest. Let's put those dumbbells down a second. That is number 12 complete. Next exercise, single exercise, and a single dumbbell move. Right hand, we're gonna snatch this dumbbell from the ground up to the ceiling. So 40 seconds on the right hand. Let's go. So down low and snatch it up. Imagine that's on a piece of string from the floor to the ceiling. You're just trying to get up as quick as you can. Short as possible, path from floor to ceiling. That's good. Right, come on, we've got 20 seconds left on this side. Then we're gonna switch sides. Snatch it up, nearly there. So exactly the same thing is gonna be on the left side and rest. 20 seconds of cover, grab a quick drink. So left side, and then we're going to do an abs exercise. That's number 15. Then we go back round for our second set. So we've done one round. Left side, and left side now. Here we go. Left hand, and come up with the weight. Excellent. Down, snatch up. So next move is going to be an abs exercise on the ground. No dumbbell for that. Just use our abs, body weight. Floor to see and good. Snatch it up. Snap that dumbbell up. 20 seconds left. Good technique. Good. Get the arm nice straight up the head. Let's get it up. 10 seconds left. Last one to finish. Final rep. Up. And relax. Excellent. Right, that's the end of the dumbbells for now. Let's get down on the deck for. This is the 15th exercise. We're gonna do some crunches. So legs up to 90 degrees. From here, just hands on the temples. And we're crunching. Trying to get our chest. Come up towards our knees. Off we go. So really contract the abs. Off. 
you know, on the way down. Exhale as you crunch. You know. Exhale, you know. Exhale, you know. Great work, come on. Squeeze those abs. This is the end of round number one. We're going back through the second set. One more round of it. Good, come on, last couple of crunches. Lift up and relax. Ah, oh, brilliant start. That's one round complete. So now if you think about it, if the weights felt too light, can you quickly adjust them, adapt them, lift them up a little bit? Or shall we stick with the same weights? I'm gonna stay with these today. We're gonna to go back into our walkouts with those climbers. So we're gonna walk out from the hands, step that foot out, really think about opening up your hips. Here we go, second round. Give me all the energy you've got now, so step out. Left foot goes by my left hand. Just feel that for a second. Open up, back to the plank. Right foot. Good, walking back. Touch the toes, reach up, repeat that. So we go left side, right side. Get the hands back, reach up. Excellent, last 20 seconds. So really stretch open those hips. Feet back together. So the further you take that foot towards the hand or be on, the more you're gonna feel the stretch in that hip. So you're gonna really open up. Nah. Ball in the socket, so left, back, right, back, and rest. Awesome, right, we're picking up the heart rate again. So we're gonna go into our dumbbell front squats now. So it's one dumbbell in each hand. And again, we're not rushing the reps. I actually wanna do them slower than before, like really controlled. So one dumbbell in each hand. Here we go. Right, so we sit down low, pause for a second, drive up. Sit down low, pause for a second, drive up. Slow, control reps. Come on, that's it, there's the strength. That's where the strength comes from. 20 seconds, pause, come up. Pause, come up. Final rep. So yeah, it's not a really heavy, heavy weight for me, but when you slow them down, you, you get that core, they just feel harder, feel a lot tougher on the muscles. Next up is the push-up into the rows. So if you can't do push-ups to the rows, just do a set of push-ups on the mat. Let's go, so let's push up for one rep. If you can, row. Row, repeat. Row, row, repeat. One thing you don't want to do is like twist. You're trying to keep your abs engaged. Your abs are going to work, no rotation. The, the closer your feet are together as well, the harder it becomes. So if you want to really challenge the core, put the legs even closer together. There's less of a base, you have to really narrow it down, you try to wobble, you've got to really strengthen your core for that. Okay, we're going to be up on our feet now. We've got the reverse lunge into the dumbbell curl. So one dumbbell in each hand. Big step back. So right foot goes back first. We step back, feet together, bicep curl. And then the left leg goes back. Reverse lunge, feet together. Okay, we're over halfway now. Just keep the tempo, keep the control, keep the form, get through it. You chose the 30 minute workout, so you've got it in you, you've got the time. Let's do it. Step, feet together, go. Let's step. Feet together, curl, and rest. Nice full body workout this. We're really working through every single muscle group. Nice, good, really good effort. Okay, next up is the, oh, the thrusters. So it's that one where we squat down with the dumbbells, come up, push, so we're using shoulders, core, legs, the lot. Here we go. Okay, so we squat down low, drive up, Arms come above the head. Repeat. Squat. Drive up. 
You can use that little bit of momentum as you come up to push the arms up. Rack them again, reset, reset, and press. Reset, and press. Get as low as you can in the squat. Last one. Good move that. Good exercise. Sweating out now. Oh. Okay, next up is the up down plank. So, no dumbbells for this one. Get them out of the way. Let's go to starting from the elbows. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. Okay, we're trying to stop the hips from rocking. We're using our abs. Ah. Little rest you need to. Little breather. 15 seconds left. Down, down, up, up. Down, down. Ah. Last few seconds. Draw. And rest. Tough that one on the shoulders. So we've now got the weighted sumo squat again, so you can hold one dumbbell or both, wide stance, feet turned out, weighted sumo squat. I'm going to go for them, just hanging down nice and low. Okay, so we go down, drop down, just before you hit the ground, drive up. That's it, stick your bum out, squeeze at the top. So the feet are really much wider in a sumo stance. Ah, this is hard. Ah. Come on. 15 seconds. Ow. Last two reps. So the birth knee deadlifts now, remember it's a slow exercise. I'm not jumping into them. So I'm stepping back like this, stepping forwards, coming up. Off we go, so step back, into the high plank, step your feet forwards, look up nice and straight, so we're gonna arch that back, neutral spine, and deadlift the weights. Out, out, in, in, and strong deadlift. This is how you don't want to do it, okay? When you do this, you use your back like that. You've got to keep that neutral spine, load the hamstrings and the glutes, and pull from there. Last rep, final one. Step back, step forward. Good move that one. Next up we've got the bicep curls and then the shoulder press. So 40 second length. We alternate the curls, let's do one. Two, three, four, okay, excellent. Five, really curl the dumbbells. And we control it all the way down too. Strong, come on. Build up the strength, control the reps, and use the muscle we're trying to work. We're not flaring the elbows out, we're not swinging them. It's just that controlled move. Think about the biceps, you're only using that. So curl, curl, rotate, pull, lengthen, contract, shorten. All right, dumbbells down. Oh, almost done now. We've got the last few reps. We're going to do the shoulder press, elbows come out, press. Get that nice press above the head, really target the shoulders here. Then we're gonna go into that floor press. So up on our feet, one dumbbell in each hand. Swing them up. Okay, let's go press. So I'm not bouncing the legs, I'm not using momentum. I'm doing a strict, strict push up, a shoulder press, sorry, strict shoulder press. There. 
Ah. Ah. Oh, it's getting hard. If you do lose form, it's better to stop for a second, shake your arms off, and then go again. Yeah, rather than hurt yourself and arch your back and all that. Ah. 10 seconds. Like a lost rep for me, final rep. And rest. Yeah, shoulders are done. Down we go. We've got the floor press now. So on our backs, remember we want these elbows tucked into the body. So it's not like a wide dumbbell press, it's a narrow dumbbell press. Elbows tucked in. Right, there we go, three to the runner. Let's go, so we're slowly down. Elbows tucked in, they come to the body. Drive those arms up. Excellent, good work. Almost there now. 30 minutes goes quick, doesn't it? Really quick. Tuck them in. Tuck them in. Last couple of presses. 10 seconds. Elbows tucked in. Final push. Stretch up onto our feet. This is number number 12. So we've got those lunges now with the knee drives. So we're going to do 20 seconds lunging backwards with the right leg. So we're going to step our right leg back into a reverse lunge. So if you lunge, come up, drive forwards. Reverse lunge, drive. Slow the lunge out fast on the knee. Pushing through the heel of that front foot. Here with that front foot. Okay. Switch sides now. Left leg goes back. Left leg. Knee drop. Takes a bit more balance this one. So lunge. Drop. Knee comes up. Last couple. And rest. Last three moves, we've got the snatch on the right side, snatch on the left, then the abs to finish. So dumbbell with the legs, horizontal to you, right hand in the dumbbell, snatch it up. Let's go. One, down, two, down, good, three, four, five, let's do ten. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we've got loads of time now. Keep going, 10. Keep going, that's it, 11. 15 to 11. Let's try 15, 12, 13, 14. Last rep, 15 to finish, and rest. So 15 to go, 15 on each side. Four minutes, we'll take a longer that. Oh. So same reps, left side, 15 for the bell, to the bell. So left arm, snatch up, three, two, one, so come on, let's go, 15 reps, one, two, stay with me, come on, let's stick together, three, four, five, six, good, get it up, come on, let's go, seven, Eight, we we'll finish on 15. Nine, 10, last five. Deep breaths, come on. 11, 12, 13, final two reps. 14, and 15, and rest. Oh, okay, done that way. This is the final move now, number 13. Abs to finish. It's been a great session, I've enjoyed it. 30 minutes, perfect workout. So you're back, back on our, on our backs. Oh. Legs up to 90 degrees. Ten, hands on the temple. Let's crunch. Last nice exercise. Just get these abs going. Oh. Oh. Come on, 
really contract the abs now. Like in the muscle, feel the work in. Lengthen, shorten, contract them. Come on. Look straight up at the sky, see him. 10 seconds. A little bit faster finish. Faster reps. Crunch. Crunch. Oh. Ah. Poor. Oh. That got on that last set. Brilliant. Well, there we go. We completed it. 30 minutes. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Thanks for choosing to train with me today on YouTube. And please share the videos with friends and family. I like getting people out of the exercise and moving with, you know, very little equipment in their homes. Getting feeling happy and energised. And uh, don't forget to check out the Body Coach app on the iOS or Google Play Store. It's amazing. Tailored workouts, tailored meal plans, live workouts with me, a community. It's a really amazing app. So if you want to get more advice, more support, and get a real plan to follow and really transform this year, check it out. It's called the Body Coach app, and it's, it's helping hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Um, but listen, I'm, I'm here I'm on YouTube on the app. I'm all over the place. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at the Body Coach. So follow me. Let me inspire you and motivate you. Keep you going this year and I'll help you achieve your goals. Lots of love. Thanks again, I'll see you soon.